Hey, good morning guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Friday the 17th. It is 4.30 this morning. Um, I wanted to shoot this video last night, I didn't have time. I also want to thank everyone that has subscribed to this channel. Thank you, it means so much to me. But I made a purchase yesterday. Um, haven't had time to open it, play with it. Uh, I've been going back and forth, did a lot of reviews. Um, so I thought I'd share it and open it with you and do a quick unboxing. Now, let's see what I got. So, Best Buy was having a sale. And I was going back and forth between brands I'll show you what I got and then I'll tell you the brands and why I picked this this is the Panasonic DMC G7 so Best Buy was having a deal a sale on cameras um, this I was worried, I actually asked the lady, I'm like, is this used, this on open, return? She reassured me it wasn't. Um, she said uh, the unboxing, you know, from delivery or something. But hopefully she's not lying to me. I got this on sale for $500. It was originally seven, I got it for five. I was checking out and playing with well, the dogs awake. If you can hear them in the background. <laughs> I held a lot of different cameras. I held the Canon. I held some Sony's. I held this. Um, I have big hands. This felt good in the hand. I have, I have not opened this yet. I got it put in the bag. Here it is, so let's unbox it together. Manuals, DVD. I'll probably never read this crap. More manuals. So, let's get into it. I'm guessing this is the lens. Oh no, this is a, I don't know, block out like shadows or something. Screws on the front of your lens. Let's see if you can see that. Here's the lens. I am curious though, there's kits. They say these are plastic, the rings. Um, then they say that some come with metal. I'm curious to see if mine's metal. Let's see. This is a 14 to 42 millimeter. That's the lens. Let's see. This is my first, like, actual camera guys never owned one ah no it's not it doesn't have the metal ring it is actually plastic but that's okay that's okay we'll put that back in the bag but I like I said I was doing research 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 and I stumbled across this. Oh, it's a strap. Don't know if I'll ever use that. I don't know if people really do. It looks like we have a cord, micro USB cord. Um, 
Another micro USB cord. Oh yeah, for the wall adapter. The charger. Hmm. Then we have the actual charger. So yeah, one cord is for the adapter. Plugs in right there. I'm actually glad that came with a charger. Because some cameras, they you have to charge the battery in the camera. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I guess if you're on the go, uh, here's the battery. This is a Lumix 7.2 volt, 1200 ma. That's kind of a small battery. If you know anything about batteries, I don't. Hmm. So I'll, I'll wait. We'll get to the good part in a minute. But I just wanted to read something to you guys. The specs on this. It is 16 megapixels. Um. Let's see. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry. I had to. My dog's just making too much noise. In my videos, sometimes it echoes, and I have high, high ceilings, wooden floors. So everything kind of echoes, and he's over there making too much noise. So, like I said, it's 16 megapixels, it's 8 megapixel frame burst, which I'll probably never use the, four, the uh, frame burst. It does full HD, 1080, and it does 4K. You can do 1080p and, tw and 24 and 30, and you can do 4K and 24 and 30. I actually think you can do 1080 up to 60 frames per second too. It does panorama, time lapse. What I do like is it's got a touch screen. Uh, let's see, it's got a built-in flash. It's got a scene guide. It is wireless. So you can connect it to say, your laptop, um, tablet, iPad, your cell phone. You can actually transfer videos and photos to any of those devices. So I thought that was kind of cool. So if you're on the go and you want to upload a video, Say on YouTube, and you get your phone, there you go. All right, but let's get to the good part. Ooh, let's see. So, let's get to the good part. When I held it, it felt kind of solid to me. Excuse me, guys. Good allergies. All right, let's get open again. I've watched other YouTubers say, oh, it's, it feels plasticky, it feels cheap, it's light. I'm not a camera expert, guys, by any means. I have big hands. I think this is somewhat light, yeah. I like that it has that nice grip. Like I said, I got big hands, so I'll have no problems. But here, this is what I love. And the reason why I bought it is that flip out screen. So you can pull it out sideways like that. Rotate it to you. Yeah, there I am. It's not even on. That's cool. And then you can leave it. If you want to take photography, leave it like that. I've wanted a camera for a while. I do want to get creative with my YouTube. I'm not the greatest with uh, high tech stuff. But when I was playing around looking through the film, you know, the iPhone, the viewfinder, whatever you want to call it. Um, compared to a DSLR, 
uh, mirrorless cameras is really really cool shows you everything um, I don't think this feels cheap at all I do think it for the price point pretty good like I said I held the Canon I held the Sony they're all basically made except some of the Sony lines they have that metal so on this door here you have a remote and H, I don't know if you can see this, focus here, HDMI, what does that say? A digital AV out, and then some type of, yeah, it says remote on it. There's all your plugs, so. When I held this, it felt really good, like I said, in my hands. Um, just some of the features. So, um, I'll, I'm not a camera expert at all. But some of the features, like, for your, um, you get two buttons, hit one here, one here, to change all settings. You don't even have to put it in movie mode. You can just hit the red button as well but when you you know I like to do vlogging so or reviews I'll be doing more vlogging now you can hold it I do need to get a nice um, I do have a nice tripod but I need a smaller one what I also liked about it this is one of the main reasons why I got it because I was looking at the G100 it has a built-in microphone jack for audio that is key this is my first camera I'm very very excited guys very excited I cannot wait and I know there's a lot of people that like watch YouTube and subscribe to channels and think about doing YouTube channels I would recommend this from all my research and going online and doing research. This is very user friendly for beginners. Another thing I liked about it, um, it's got the, uh, what do you call it, the hot shoe there. I think this comes out, yeah, that slides out. So it's got like a little plate in there now, but you can take this out. You can put an external flash or your microphone can go right there. But it comes with this little plastic um, protector. So when I was playing with the Sony, I would say the Sony Alpha line, those felt probably the most sturdy. Um, I played with the Canons. Like I was, I wanted the Canon M50. Then I wanted this. Then I want, went back. I wanted the Canon M50. Then I wanted the Sony line. But anybody that knows, the Sony lines are um, hard, really, really hard to get. Really, really hard to get. I was going to go with the ZV10. Everyone says that's phenomenal. I've done my, you know, homework on that, if you want to call it that. Um course they didn't have it it's always out of stock so I've been trying to get a camera since February well also it does have an uh, built-in flash there's a button right there you just hit that of course your camera pros are gonna say oh the flash is junk and every little built-in camera flash is just worthless um i don't think so i think some lights better than no light that's just my opinion so down here you have the tripod mount i'm hope i hope in mine i haven't hooked it up yet but the distance the space because the battery compartment is right here flips open battery 
the SD card. Like I said, I didn't want to spend too much money. Oh, it doesn't snap back, so you got to push the button back. I didn't want to spend too much money. My first camera, I love producing and doing YouTube videos. So I want to see how this goes, and maybe down the line I'll get, you know, start getting into more professional. Because I do like taking pictures. I am an outdoorsman. I have a lot of hobbies, guys. But with that said, I am very happy with this purchase for $500. Like I said, I have big hands. It's got this nice rubberized, like, grip. Um, so I do like that. For the, for the lens, let's see. Let me see here. I guess you have to... There's dots. See if I can get this right. I've already looked into other lenses for um, vlogging. So obviously you twist this off. There it is. I don't know if you can see the red dot right there. For that back background blur they call it. For you know, you just doing um Let's see, so you line up the dots, red to red, and that's it. So, you can see, it's not much zoom. This does not have image stabilization. I know that. Oh, so here we go. So you push this button right here. And just twist it off. I know that it doesn't have image stabilization. At all. Whoop! There we go. I cannot wait to uh, play with it and do some tests with it. I do know one thing from my research and my. Um, studies and watching other videos this is a micro force camera obviously but this in low light is i wouldn't say eh, actually a lot better than the canon m50 so that's another reason why i went with this low light situations this does a lot better the canon i don't know it shocked me it um didn't compare to it not at all so i was happy with that um also you compare it to a canon side by side it's very hard to tell the difference very hard to tell the difference so with that said the Canon M 50 mark 2 is 700 this is 500 when this first came out it was 800 then they mark then they had it they marked it down to 700 and then they have deals I've seen it for six I've seen it for five which I got it for five so, you can't beat that. I am very excited to try it out. Also, guys, if you um, stay tuned, I'm going camping today. So, I'll be doing a lot of tests. Not just with this. Um, I'll be doing a lot of tests with other products. For you gentlemen or ladies that like knives, I'm bringing a bunch of knives and... We're going to test those out and see how they work. So guys, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get this channel rolling. I told you I want to hit 100 subs. I want to do a giveaway. Um, once I hit my 100 mark, I'm going to do a giveaway. And 
it'll be your choice. I'll leave some choices out and we'll have fun with it, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for this weekend.